Hello guys, this is Krishna Adya and here we are going to see about nested functions using JavaScript. So now let's see that. Now we will start our task that is nested functions. Now what do you mean by nested functions? First we will see its syntax. So here is the syntax of our regular function that is followed by function that is the keyword then the function name means the name of the function then the code goes between two curly braces and here is the syntax of nested function so over here you can see there are two functions created so there is a function and the name of the function and between these two curly braces that is of the function 1, we have created a function number 2. That is function, function 2 name and the code for the function 2 goes between the these two curly braces. But you have to call the function 2 inside the function 1. So you can consider the function 2 as the child function and function 1 as its parent function. Now let's see some theory about nested function. So the first point says that nested functions means function under function. Then it's also called as inner function because the function 2 that is the nested function comes inside the function number 1 that is our main function. Then in the scope of outer function means the nested function means the function 2 will come in the scope of outer function. Then the last point says that inner function can access the variables of the outer function but the outer function cannot access the variables of the inner function now let's see how to do this coding of the nested function so here we will start the coding of a nested function using javascript first i am saving the file as nested function dot php and here in the body tag i am using the script tags and we will create a function number one that is the parent function and uh, here i am declaring a variable a and initializing it as value 10 then with the help of document dot write I will be printing our first statement that this is outer function and I will be leaving a line over here now I will print our second statement that will be the value of our variable a now we will create our second function that will be the child function of function number one and over here I am declaring a variable b and assigning its value as 20 then with the help of document dot write I am writing the first line over here that this is inner function and leaving a line over here now in our second statement I will be printing the value of variable p. Now we will call our function number 2 that is the child function after the that function is over and then we will call the parent function over here. Now let's see that this code works or not so this is the index file of my folder and here is the file so you can see that this is outer function the value 10 this is inner function and value 20 so by this way you can do nested functions and we have seen a point in presentation that inner function can access the variables of outer function but outer function cannot access the variables of inner function so let's try that
so over here i am printing the value of variable a now let's try this one so you can see 20 and 10 let's leave a line so you can get the perfect idea so you can see the variable of b and variable of a that's the variable of outer function has been printed now let's see by printing a value of the variable b into the outer function so you can see that only the this is outer function and 10 has been executed that is this much code only and from here we get the error let's see what's the error over here so you can see on code reference b is not defined because the outer function cannot access the variables of the inner function so by this way you can implement the nested functions in javascript thank you for watching my video if you like it then please subscribe my channel